Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girl Fanny Longo and we are Fanny and Jesse. Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction video and before I get to the reaction guys I want to say thank you for everyone who's been subscribing. You guys are super amazing and yes Anyway guys, so today we're gonna do another reaction video and this one right here is Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate defend Qatar World Cup against the hit. So without any further ado guys, let's get it. So what were your covering? Give me your overview of what you said about what's going on. My overview was very simple. My overview was if rainbow flags were the fashion of English people and we wore them all the time, I'm sure Qatar would let us in with the t-shirts. If nobody ever wears them in history, and you show up at the arena with one, you are intentionally trying to provoke a culture into telling you to go home and change your t-shirts. You can paint them as the bad guy. And I believe that they should crack some skulls. That was the gist of what I said. Imagine being a generic football fan, just a guy who likes football. Yeah, just bring it in. Come in. Imagine being a generic football fan, just a guy who likes football. You don't give a shit about any of these political statements, any of this garbage. And now all of a sudden you're, by just watching the football games and supporting, supporting football, you're on the side of mass. I don't even know who you are. What are they doing? Mass degeneracy? Like, it's insanity. Can't you just like football now? Or can't you just, you know, have sex with who you want in your house without having to show everyone in the World Cup? Bro, you're lucky I'm not Mr. Producer because I saw some English TV show. There was an English TV show. Thanks. There's yeah. an English TV I show. Just, yeah, just leave it, bro. Thanks. Thanks. The... There was an English TV show, and it's one of these guys. He's one of them football pundits. I don't know. It was BBC Two or something. And there was a full three minutes singing and dancing, just saying how important it is to have rainbow armbands. Why? I don't get it. Why can't people just play football? Why do they have to mix in this agenda with everything? Yeah, I don't It's understand. like the West has no culture besides that. It's the last piece of culture, the pride flag. And I don't give a shit if people are gay. I don't care. You can be as gay as you want. But why do you have to not? Why did you go to another country and make sure that they understand how important it is that you believe that that's an important thing? Like well, well, interestingly enough, Andrew, in the argument of love is love and we should celebrate and make legal all types of love, if you are from Qatar and you are a, a Muslim and you live in England, you cannot legally marry three or four women. Polygamy is against the law in England. So if we were to hold the World Cup in England, could the Qatari players have their pro polygamy, pro multi wife uh, armbands on, but I don't think they would. I don't think because, they would. No, because they don't. They don't want to push their culture on other people. They're yeah. just happy being who they are, and I think that that's what every culture should do. Yeah, because it's absolutely not only really arrogant to believe that your worldviews are somehow shared by every other nation on earth. It's actually amazing that the West pretends to be moral and has any kind of moral high ground. If you look at the track records of the West, whether it's starting wars or Look at some of the ideas the Matrix is purporting I, I now. I did say this yesterday. Yeah, there's Matrix. I mean, the ideas that the Matrix is purporting now amongst the populations of the West are absolutely not really degenerate. They're not moral. You're going to sit there and say that, you know, it's okay to chop people's dicks off at the age of eight and nine, and that's somehow good. And then you want to talk to others about morality. There's absolutely nothing moral about the West. The West is disgusting in many various forms. And for them to sit there and tell, pretend that they know so much yeah. more than other countries is absolutely not only really disrespectful. So so, by, by most metrics, Qatar as a country outperforms nearly every Western country. Yeah, absolutely. It's safer. They have families, let lower divorce rate. They're doing something right. So for us to sit, come along and say, no, they're doing everything wrong. They have to believe the way we think is absolutely not the really arrogant. Um, um, I think from, from, um, from time to time, we realize that the Western... Um, countries or culture or let's say countries they have this um, what we call superiority complex you know they always want to be superior like they feel like they own the world so whatever we do if we come to your home or your house or your country we want you to exactly accept our norms but this is not acceptable everywhere do you understand so the thing is what these two gentlemen are talking about is uh, recently what happened in the World Cup. Everybody knows that the World Cup is uh, in Qatar and Qatar is a Muslim country. They have their own values, cultural values, and they stick to their own values. Doesn't matter where you come from, when you come to us, you respect us regardless who you are, even if you're the president of whatever. So, 
it's so sad that you know a country or maybe the people of the west they are trying to purport all this um, rainbow uh, I mean wearing or maybe putting in a gay into a place where their values don't allow them to be you understand and they make it look like love is love and all this kind of thing you know which I read somewhere on Twitter I want to say if love is love okay somebody say okay love is love is love then water is water why don't you drink from the <laughs> from the toilet or something so I mean it's it's for 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 one to think like that he has annihilated all the cultural values of everyone thinking that his is the best so and they feel like you should follow us you should listen to us and trust me these countries that are purporting all these kind of things you can never go to their country and do whatever you feel like you want to do for example like what uh, Tristan just mentioned polygamy in the United States polygamy is not a thing yeah? but if you go there now and start practicing that they will want to question you in some states and whatnot or maybe England and something like that I think that one has better chances of being practiced in the US for the US I would love to give an example of the flag if you bend mm -hmm. that flag, what are they going to do to you? Uh, yeah, yeah, you know. Yes, certain things, you know. So, they're, they're, they're so entitled. They feel like they own the world. They feel like they can do whatever they want to do in any part of the of the world. And they've succeeded in some part of Africa, actually. A lot of African countries are now trying to join hands with whatever they purport and whatever they, 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 they project towards them. And it's so sad. I mean... I actually, you know what's funny, when you look at the rainbow colors, rainbow colors are not bad. Rainbow comes, the colors come from nature. You can see the rainbow when, when the rain drops and the sun is shining. You can see the rainbow. And there's nothing wrong with rainbow. You know, the, 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 the colors and whatnot. But they made it look like they associated rainbow with uh, gay rights and they put it out there that, you know, when you see these colors, automatically you're gay maybe you are of this society uh, society or something but again when you go deep and understand what rainbow colors are and just getting to a deeper understanding you realize that you're hitting something that has more um more meaning into your life than what they're trying to portray out there which is something that they're good at doing you know they put something out there that has more meaning to us they want us to look at that and hate it do you understand just trying to uh separate us from uh nature trying to separate us from all these kind of things but anyway uh, other than that i feel like it's so wrong for the western culture to just think that they can just go anywhere and do whatever they want to do what do you think I agree with you, but to the people by Western, before I then contribute, by Western, what countries did you mean, or Africa included there? Uh, some some country in Africa westernized. By Western, I mean, you know, when you go you to the far west. Not Africa, yeah? The developed not, countries. Yes, not, yeah. England, or oh, England, um, Netherlands, you know. United States but Brazil. just the other day I saw on Twitter Africans arguing about this same situation mm -hmm. saying how can Qatar refuse people to be who they Which are Which country was that? The people arguing on Twitter? Yeah. I don't even know it was just a tweet that appeared on my thing mm -hmm. and they were going back and forth because someone did something I don't even know if mm -hmm. that was Photoshop if it was true you know, Again, and uh, sorry to cut you short I mean when you look at African countries, they are more like accepting the Western culture. Look at most most of the African. What do we see? What do we watch every day? We see Western people dress uh, their, their dress code, their culture. We are emulating their culture slowly by slowly. Look at the country like Kenya. Kenya literally like most of the people look at the United States, how they dress, how they talk, how they do their things, their values. They pick everything from what they see. 
So we can we can say that yes, one or two people or even a good number of people will come out arguing like why is Qatar not accepting uh, people to wear rainbow colors? It's because they have been indoctrinated to um, to 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 be part of their agenda. You know, I feel like. Most of the African countries are into that. Most of them, especially when you go East Africa, some of the countries in East Africa and uh, South Af uh, southern side of Africa also. Maybe countries, maybe those Muslim countries, maybe they don't indulge much on, on this type of things. But anyway, uh, yes, sorry to cut you. I think uh, the colors thing, be it on shirts, be it on bands, whatever it is, is propaganda. And Qatar yeah. has all the rights as a state or nation, a state or whatever it's recognized as, as as long as um, it's considered a sovereign state, then other countries can't um, penalize it What's a sovereign for state? saying they have the power within themselves to mm. make decisions, such something like that. Um, they're allowed to say no. The decisions shouldn't have to come from outside. They're just saying no to your shirts and everything. They don't want you to spread or corrupt the people. But at the end of the day, you get to do whatever you want to do when you go back to your hotels. Do you understand? As long as you're not doing it in front of their children, in front of their parents, just the population in general. Because I don't think they're monitoring what people are doing in the hotel. Yeah, 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 true. I mean, you do whatever you, you can, want to do. You but can you can respect that yes and don't go there in the hopes of i'll be the first person that qatar wants i mean is going to tolerate don't be that person no, they said that they're going to jail you for how many years when you do that i don't know they should jail something them. they've yeah. got all the rights to jail people that want to act like superheroes respect someone's land respect someone's laws and just abide by them enjoy the I mean, you came there for football, man. You didn't come here to protest or walk around uh, dressed so somehow. Agenda. Yeah. You, are you paid to go sell an agenda? No. Mm -hmm. You went there basically for football. Play football. Also, these players, I was so shocked, man. Uh, this England player is, uh, what's the name? Harry Kane. Brother, you're being paid to play football, not to go there and sell an agenda. Not unless you're being paid. What did he do? He, um, he, he wanted to boycott the... Uh, the World Cup by um, them not uh, given the chance to wear the band. You understand? And the thing is, you could have stayed, but I think they took a picture and they did this, something like that, that they are being silenced. It that, look, so brother. Didn't you just stay back home? Yeah, stay back to your, in your country. Uh, at the end of the day, you're rich, man. So, but as long as you flew to a different country and you know these are their values, stick to their values play your football, go back home, not unless you're paid to sell that agenda. And I feel most of the people are being paid. Lots of, of people are being paid to sell this agenda. Of course. Um, back to the Africans that were arguing the other day, I see no reason as to why you should um, fight over something that's not happening in your country, first of all. You have to understand yeah. certain things. Very people true. don't even understand that something is being sought here until later in future it's affecting you. Let if if it's America selling this propaganda, let them keep it within the country. Don't lose your values because you want to act like them. You want to be part of them. They'll never accept you. Is what you should understand. Just um, stick to your land. Appreciate your culture, where you're coming from. Don't just throw it away because you want to be like Kim K or something. You know. Yeah, true. And also, uh, j j just just to add on. I do understand that this is the topic of the day. You know, you can you can you can talk about this and get views and all those kind of stuff. We do understand. But if you're arguing for the purpose of getting the view, we will understand that. But if you're arguing to make a point and trying to make it look like uh, it is wrong for for Qatar to do what they did, then I feel like you are in the. Uh, I mean, you 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 you're basing your 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 argument in a wrong place particularly you, you can't imagine you in Africa talking about something that you've, you I mean 
that 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 is not even of your culture you haven't you, you've been growing in africa you know what we we go through in africa there's so much things that we need to fix first before we even start talking about these things do you understand so not unless you're doing it for views yeah we will understand but if you're doing it to uh, make a point that this is right then you're so wrong to be honest we have so many things to deal with first before we even advance to that kind of things we have people dying of anger we have diseases they're selling us you know weird things to um to take so that you know uh, come on man guys let's just be smart and try to focus on the most important things it's not of importance and i'm not saying oh i'm against gay if you want to be gay be gay but don't interfere with people's life i can't be i can't be in my house and you're coming to my house trying to tell me how gay you are no be gay in your house Tell your kids if you want anyone who but not people who are not concerned especially people who don't even know what this this thing means they haven't they haven't even i mean they have no idea of what this is there's a guy who uh, is it something welsh he has um a website called um something women i don't know what women uh, this guy went to kenya and asked masai i don't know if you saw that he went uh, in he went to Kenya and he went to a uh, a tribe called Maasai where they deep deep down the uh, the valley so he he asked them he's uh, he asked them very simple question what is the role of a woman and what does a man do the guy explained it very well does a man is a man allowed to be a woman or you know all these questions that the western purporting out there these people don't they are not familiar to these things you can tell like this thing is not biological trust me these things are What's more like biological uh, this uh, being gay oh, okay. by birth mm. you know you can tell this these things are not biological these things are being manufactured and created by these people trust me Created or not, just don't um, disturb someone's country, you know. So let us know what you guys think about this video we just reacted to. If there's anything you want us to react to, let us know down below. Just give us the name and the link and we'll do it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in our next reaction video. And deuces.